This morning's headlines Cavs pacing themselves with opening night up next, one game. That's all it is to Cleveland Cavaliers coach Tyron Lue, Tuesday night's tilt against the Boston Celtics 8 p.m. ET, TNT. Sure, it's Kyrie Irving's first game against his former teammates. And it's the kickoff of the 2017-18 season. Oh and there is still uncertainty surrounding the status of LeBron James, who was limited significantly during the preseason with an ankle injury. But as Dave McMenamin of ESPN.com points out, the Cavaliers are taking a measured approach amidst all of the hype it's one game, Lou said after practice Sunday, scoffing at a reporter's questioning if the Cavs geared up for the Celtics throughout their entire training camp. I know both teams want to see each other, but at the end of the day, you don't win a championship by winning or losing the first game. So they're up for the game, they're ready for it, but that's not our main focus is playing Boston. Perhaps putting a damper on expectations is LeBron James' status. James played in just one of the Cavs' five preseason games after spraining his left ankle on the second day of camp. Lou said James continued to be limited Sunday. He went through probably one-fourth of the practice, Lou said. Some plays, teaching stuff, some just five-on-zero offensive stuff, getting up and down the floor. He went through this stuff today, and he went and got cardio in the weight room. When asked about James' chances of playing, Lou said, You got to ask him. You got to see how it feels. Just getting the treatment, working the right way and see what happens. James did not speak to reporters Sunday. However, he told ESPN on Friday that his ankle injury is testing his patience. Should James sit out and miss a season opener for the first time in his 15 year career? Lou believes the Cavs are better equipped to win without him than they were the past three seasons, when Cleveland was just 4 to 23 without the four time MVP in the lineup. I think we'll be a lot better off, Lou said. I think we got a lot of different pieces. We're deeper. A lot of versatile players. A lot of different lineups we can play. So it will be different, but I think we have a better chance, yes. One of those versatile players added is Crowder, who will start at power forward this season to try to take pressure off James on the defensive end. Crowder has waited two months to see the Celtics, and he admitted that he is looking forward to the opportunity to go up against him and bang up a little bit and have a good, fun challenge but he didn't want to rehash any hurt feelings he might have from being traded from Boston after he helped rebuild the franchise into an Eastern Conference contender. I'm over it. I've moved on, Crowder said. I'm with a great group of guys right here who have worked very, very hard each day we've been at practice. It's been fun to be around. Of course, at the time I was shocked, but now that I've moved on, I'm not. 208 play Whiteside to Embiid I'm no softy. The budding Joe Lambie who saw on Whiteside Twitter feud slash rivalry has the makings of a big man cold war that could last for years, or at least as long as the Philadelphia 76ers big man and Miami Heat's behemoth play out their NBA careers. But Whiteside wants to make one thing clear, he's no Mr. Softy and Embiid knows as much, according to Ira Winderman of the South Florida Sun Sentinel who has the latest update in the saga two days after the two first went back and forth on the court in the Miami Heat's exhibition loss to the Philadelphia 76ers in Kansas City, with MB gesturing to the Heat bench to remove Whiteside because of Whiteside's early foul trouble, Whiteside said what ensued on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat was nothing more than playful respect. It's funny to me, Whiteside said after practice at American Airlines Arena. I'm going to talk trash back if somebody talks trash to me. Maybe when I was younger, I would have been a little more angrier, it would have been a little madder. But, you know, that's the kind of guy he is. He makes joke. He's a good player, so it's all fun to me. I can go all day with it. Whiteside said it is nothing more than respect between what Heat coach Eric Spolstra called titans of the game. Ever since last year, my very first words to Embiid was, Man, I'm glad to see you back on the court," said Whiteside, with Embiid's NBA debut delayed by a foot issue, one Whiteside playfully cited amid their Friday late-night Twitter exchange. He told me we're going to bring the center position back. And after they won, he called me, barbecue chicken, so I was waiting to get back at him. Embiid, he don't stop. He don't stop, he said.
My first foul, he said I was going to foul out. I said, man, I'm not playing more than 15 minutes. You really think these fouls is a big deal? He don't stop, man. But he's like that. It's not him talking ab.